Hi, I'm Aiman, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. Today's video is going to be another diagnostic video. In this case, it's going to be about a loud noise that you can hear from the car while you're driving. And to give you some background, this is my brother Oswald's Honda Insight. I think it's a 2010. And uh, whenever he drives, obviously he hears a loud noise. So we're going to turn on the engine right now and demonstrate what that noise sounds like. Luckily, this is a hybrid. So it's actually easier to hear the sound because it's less louder from the uh, engine. people who watch the video you can tell that that's an issue with the muffler or the exhaust system so what's likely happened is that there's a leak somewhere under the car um, and what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a method that my dad well first I'm going to show you one way to diagnose where it's coming from and then the second way is I'm going to show you something that my dad tried with some success and uh, hopefully you can try if you'd like Okay, so the first method we're going to do is uh, just to find sort of the large area where the issue might be. And that's simply just to walk around the car as the engine's running and try to pinpoint what part of the car that the noise is coming from. So um, to preface this, because uh, I'm not sure it's going to come out well if you try to do it with the phone. When my, when my brother Oscar did it, he said it came from the middle. When my mom did it, she said, oh, it came from the middle, you know, not from the front, not from the back. When I did it, and I'm deaf, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm deaf in my right ear, I said it came from the middle. So, it's, you can kind of tell it's going to come from the middle. But, I'm going to show you, once you find out the large area that the, uh, it sounds like it's coming from, I'm going to show you a more detailed way, a more uh, minute way, or a smaller way, more exact way, to tell where exactly the leak is. right here and 
just to demonstrate it's not coming from the front. Now you see, it's not going out here. It's only going out in this general direct uh, area. So that means that there must be a leak around this area. And the way we know that there's a leak is because, you know, fire requires oxygen and the muffler contains gases that are mostly carbon dioxide. So when it's leaking, that area is mostly going to be carbon dioxide, which means that the flame is going to run out because it doesn't have oxygen. Or actually, yeah, okay. If I, if I put my hand under there, I can actually feel the, the gases coming out. I can feel the wind produced by the, uh, by the leak. So that's actually a better explanation is that the, uh, the leak is producing a wind that's causing the flame to go out. So either explanation works, the carbon dioxide or the, uh, the wind coming out. Uh, but in either case, we know that the leak is coming from this area right here. So let me turn off the engine real quick. Yeah, okay, so what my dad was going to do when he, he knew that there was a leak here, which, by the way, while we're talking about the leak, uh, I guess... Uh, Instead of using a lighter, I guess you could just feel for the leak too. <laughs> but I like the lighter because it's more flashy. And there's also, uh, it looks cool. Okay, so what my dad was going to do when he knew that there was a leak here was, there's probably a leak in the, the middle here. So he was going to replace the uh, gasket uh, with this new one here. But when he, in order to do that, all I have to do is to loosen these nuts or in bolts and then take it out, put the gasket in, and then tighten it again. Uh, but we ran into some issues. Uh, so we'll talk about, th more, about that more in the next video. But basically, we're gonna have to do uh, a lot more to fix that problem. So go check out my next video if you're interested in what we have to do to resolve that. But ideally, it would just be a case of just replacing this gasket in this uh, leak here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how to tell um, where, well, first off, this video is about diagnosing a loud sound coming from your car. And usually that's the muffler because the muffler is meant to, uh, the exhaust system, because the exhaust system in the muffler is meant to uh, quiet down loud noises coming out from the exhaust. Um, but second of, all, second of all, it's also how to tell where a leak is coming from uh, in your exhaust system. And first off, you want to go around the car to find out where the general area is. And the second thing is to find is to exactly pinpoint where it is using a lighter. And using a lighter is more is important because you saw before I was able to use my hand to feel the wind, right? But an exhaust system, the, the air that comes out is, you know, about 400 degrees. So if you just use your hand, there's a potential you could hurt yourself and burn yourself. And that's why using a lighter is more ideal because you can keep your hand away and also you know, it's pretty clear when there's a leak. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you use this method and it helped you out, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any concerns with the method, please feel free to put it in the comments down below and uh, people can have a discussion about that. Uh, but as far as we know, as far as we think, it's safe. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at the videos on I'm Ayman. Check out my next video on how we resolve this leak um, because the issue is that the everything's all rusted and welded together. So uh, we're gonna talk in the, our next video how we're gonna solve that problem. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm Aiman, and signing out.